Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to my first stream with my new hair. It's just like my old haircut that I had before when it was short, but I got some color going on. It's really hard to see on this camera because the lighting is not great. And the styling looked a lot better than this before because I, uh, I got sweaty a little bit today. And so I kind of curled out a little bit over here, but just in case you did not, you were not made aware, also, desktop audio is too loud. I'm playing a song that Soraki Hero sent to me. Um, I'm gonna lower this a wee bit more. I'm gonna lower it in my own ear. Because this is a bit loud. Actually, the best... Wait. Did it just mute itself? Oh, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, so, that intro aside, welcome back to more RPG Maker. Yeah, right here, this little curly spot. Of course, it's always like that. When I, when I first get it cut, it's amazing. But then later that same day, if I start to sweat a little bit, it curls out. And usually, a couple days, if you wait a couple days after watching it, it gets, uh, it actually, the natural oils that are in there actually keep it straighter. At least that's what I found, so. Um, anyway, beauty advice aside, we are here, and thank you, Chronopod, for 567 bits. That is an oddly specific- well, I guess it says 567. I was saying that's an oddly specific number, but it's 567. So, cool. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying, welcome back to RPG Maker. I'm gonna show you what I did. I think I already mentioned to you, um... I already mentioned to you that I found a tile set that has all the tile sets, all the default tile sets combined. So... I don't know, I'm super distracted. So I already told you about that though, um, but so that means that for some of these, if I'm going to use uh, the, the screens that I'm going to use this on, the tile set, I might have to update what you can pass through and what you can't because not all it's not all in there by default but I think I already talked about that but just in case you guys weren't here last time um, we got song requests going on and as, as a matter of fact well when when this is done I guess I'll go in the call yeah when I'm gonna tell Sark here when this is done I'll start the call so anyway um, let me show, well, I gotta wait till sound. Let me show you what I, I, I worked on this screen. This screen was more or less, you know, I don't remember. I don't think it was blank last time, but we had like put the, we put the trader there or whatever. And we put the building there, but I added some things off screen. I made this waterfall thing because I want a little, like we, uh, I decided to, that if this place was going to have such great food, which, um, like in the inn here, that we had to have a little source of food and water, so we got a we got some a water source over here, and we got some crops over here. This guy tells us about it. I added a little character inside of here. Um, it's actually um, a, it's actually like a, an homage to one of my friends. Um, but wait, did I hear a popping sound? Hold that thought. Oh, right, that's that's the popping sound, is the sound of something being added to the queue. I will take a look at that momentarily. Thank you very much. And, um, this song is almost over. All right, so I had this little cave. This person, I'm decided I'm going to have this be a recurring character. They appear in different places. They can give you a hint to where the next spell is and um, give you a little overview of, like, the town or the area that you're in. I figured adding that as a little bit of a help. Um... All right, let me turn on, let me start the call in stream chatu. And let's do this, uh, let's take a look at the song request song. And then, actually before, actually I should do this before we start the song request song. Let me go here and give you a little uh, demonstration of the stuff I added since, um, just, a, it's just really just a little bit of stuff that I added since uh, going off last stream. But it took me a long time, that little bit of stuff. So, all right. So oh, we, yeah? Yes. All right. So I haven't implemented this building yet. That's the last thing I'm going to do in this area. And then I think I'm going to work on the coastal area. Because this way will lead into the mountains. But we'll get to that. 
Is this guy, believe it or not, we do some decent farming in this little mountain town. We supply the inn with fresh ingredients, nothing but the finest for our visitors. And then, let's see, I... I don't remember if, if you guys saw, I... I implemented the shop from this guy. Yeah, he sells all this stuff, but of course, since we're playtesting it and just jumped ahead, we don't have any money or items or anything. But, alright, so here we have the crops, just a little thing for fun here. Now we're gonna go this way. There's a little bit of lag because there seems to be all the time when I stream. I don't think I changed anything in here. Everything is the same. Because remember, we have the Swedish chef here. And, uh, yeah. And the, up there, the Healy room or whatever. The little bedroom area is the same. So let me show you what I added with this cave. It's kind of plain. And I don't know if I should decorate it a little more. But here we go. We talked to this person. Uh, hey there, I've never seen you around before. And this is only something they'd say the first time, so like the plan is you're gonna meet this person throughout the game. But I, hopefully, just whenever the first time you talk to this person... Um, I say this, yeah, I don't know, I say this person because it's a female sprite, but it's based on my male friend, but he likes uh, cat girls, so that's the reference to him. Also, a lot of stuff is, a, <laughs> is, is the, this whole, this whole persona, this whole character is, is a reference to my friend that on, only the people who know him will appreciate, but anyway. I've been all around four bits, I've seen everything there is to see, and I've defeated more foes than I can count, that's why people know me as the expert. I can give you some tips that will help an adventurer like you on your journey. And so then, after that, the first time you talk to her, wherever it is, and you talk again, you can ask about this place, about the icy spells. Carnipod says hi, Soraka Hero, and also thank you. Actually, I just got her myself, and I must say I do like your hair. Thank you. It's not, yeah, it's it's not much quite, working. it's not quite, um, as, as well put together as when I first got it styled. Hey, AJ! Thank you for I mean, the, the I don't know what you call that, surprised head bits. Your hair still looks really amazing, so... Thank you. It, it I have to say, pretty well. the color looks even better in person. Like, it's, it doesn't look bad over camera, but it you can kind of see the nuance in the color a lot better in person. I mean, if it looks better here, then I must look a lot better <laughs> in person. Yeah. It has to. So anyway, we talk about this place, and she tells us, Vale Town is a little haven at the foot of the southern mountains. It might be best known for the Inn Chef. All inns and Forbits offer freshly cooked meals, but the Vale Inn has one of the best chefs in the whole kingdom. I go there so often that I'm on a first-name basis with him. I would personally recommend getting the apple pie or acorn souffle. No one makes them as good as he does. They're both a bit pricey, but they're totally worth it. And then we can ask about the icy spells. There's no sign of an icy spell here, but there is an area in the mountains that is difficult to pass through thanks to the glacial curse. However, if you're looking for the icy spells, you might want to check the coast. There's an underwater cave there that's unbearably cold inside. So, um, the plan was to have you be able to go through the mountains, but not necessarily be able to progress to the next point until you get whatever power we're going to have from the first spell. So then you will kind of backtrack and go. I mean, that's one way to do it, but I guess we could just do it where it connects and you and you backtrack. There's a later point. Actually, that might be better. I have to take a look at the map and see what would be better to do. We might have the block off point be after you get to the mountains, but in a place where you can easily like circle back around to the coastal area without having to go all the way through the mountains again. Or maybe a shortcut in the mountains that opens up when you get there. I don't know. There are so many options here. How much have I gotten done? Well, for this stream we just started, but I'm trying to think, when was the last stream that you saw any of it? Because we added basically the mountain town over the last two streams. I think that's pretty much all we did. So everything, everything we see here, so when we exit, this was the exit from the forest. We come over this way. And so we talked about the expert over in that cave. This guy just lets us know that the inn is where we can rest. And, you know, these people just say some stuff. Um, this lady just tells us that we can rest upstairs for free, or we could buy a meal from the chef, and the chef is the Swedish chef. So, and you can buy stuff from him. 
back at the starting cave and show me how to do events. Oh yeah, so I've done, I've done a lot since then. I might have to play through one time. Actually, that would be that's not too sh uh, not too bad of an idea since we're still not that far in. There's not too much uh, implemented yet, although it's getting more and more complicated all the time. Hi, pumpkin. I implemented this where you can rest. Okay, so this is the city here. Um, the shortcut idea, going back to explore the forest, uh, could be cool too. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to think about that. Yeah, maybe having the mountains connect to the coast would be good. Uh oh, pumpkin's gonna attack my TV when he sees my character running around here. Okay, so we have we have we can shop here, but. Not right now. So I haven't done this building yet, and I haven't done anything beyond here. But there's crops, there's farmer dude, and Billy the goat is still here. Alright, so... Just to make sure everybody's caught up, let's go to the beginning section. I did a lot. So AJ, if the last time you were here was the first time you told me about that one event, and then I started playing around with events, um, I did a lot. I learned a lot. <laughs> Well, let me just give you an idea. I won't show you everything, then. Let me just give you a rundown, AJ, if you want to leave some surprises for yourself. But let me just give you a quick overview. I won't show you where all the items are or anything. I I've put a few items in the forest, at least. But I'll, I'll kind of run through it. So, we go here, no matter which way you walk. Oh, oh, that's the other thing I added. I added the inside of the tent, but I'll have to show you that later. Alright, so I've basically learned how to make the cutscenes work the way I want them. I learned how to get items, I learned how to um, add party members, I added some artwork. So she says, who are you? How did you get here? Lag! Are you human? You have a bluish tint to your skin. Nothing. All right, I'm gonna skip some of this so that you have a little bit of a surprise here. But her name's Calica. She's the Mimi character. She's a bard, even though I had to use a mage. Uh, image because I thought it looked but I thought it looked reasonably like her as a game character all right lag 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 I wrote a poem that was a poem in there oh it's actually a song but it's a poem All right, so just to- I'll, I'll demonstrate the things I've done more from a technical level rather than a story level. So I have it where you go over here, and these guys are blocking your way. I won't tell you what they say, but basically they're waiting because you don't have any- you're, You don't have any armor or, um, or a weapon or anything like that. Um, you can talk to this guy, blah blah blah. I think- I think that- that guy might have been there already. And you talk to this- these two over here, I think we already had that. I improved this a little bit. And so we go in here. I added some effects to getting the items here. And then we hear a thing. I'm not gonna completely spoil it. So now we can equip the item if we want the items. It doesn't matter whether we equip it or not, though. Like, whether we equip these things or not, like, the, the next things will unlock regardless. And so there's a little there's a little secret going on here. Well, a little Easter egg between this girl. She talks about her parents went missing, and then I won't tell you what the thing is. Although some some people here know, but this there's, there's these messages. I won't explain. There's there's one thing I can't figure out though, and there's a, this glitch with with all these signs. If I go to read the sign, you can see the sprite glitches out. But if I look at it from no, if I look at it from the side, it still the side it still happens. One of the other signs. Oh yeah, if I look at it from the right side, it doesn't glitch out. So I don't know what the cause for that is, but I don't know. So anyway, we go back here after we've gotten the item, and Kalka asks us some questions, and it's not really relevant right now, but she's like, Hey, you gotta go here and do stuff and explore the kingdom. So now we get to leave. Now this merchant guy is out of our way, but I won't- you want to talk to him, I won't tell you why, I guess, if we're gonna keep some things. Alright, but you try to leave and Calic's like, oh wait. She decides she wants to come with you! 
Yeah. And now we can see we have two party yeah, yeah. members. And she comes with equipment already, I believe. I don't have a- I don't have a- I made up the wooden mandolin, so I don't have a sprite, like an icon for it. But now we can go in the forest, and just to make sure- Alright, so, I had a problem with making this- the merchant guy disappear at- like, stay there after you went in the forest and not block your path again. So, I just had him disappear. So, you have to talk to I was him- like, hey, where'd he go? He went home. You have to talk to him before you go into the- the, um before you go into the forest, or just really before you leave the screen after Calica joins your party. So, as you can see, I removed the Calica event from over there, so that checks out okay. So let's keep going. Alright. All right, Banana, I didn't tell you yet, did I? What? I, uh... I got quite a few secret rares today from, uh, from a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, <laughs> Mega, Mega 10. Oh, nice. I know. I basically like. I spent twenty bucks for it, and I've gotten pretty much like three times my money's worth out of it. Nice, nice. I know, right? It's awesome. Okay, so this just describes the forest. It's called Search Root Forest because uh, it came from Jay Pizzle's idea to have um, a an anagram for treacherous, and Search Root happens to be an anagram for treacherous. And this just gives us a hint that we can check some items. I won't show you all the items that have stuff in it, but we can, like we can get gold from that rock. And then now there's no combat uh, implemented yet. That's more or less gonna be the last thing I do probably. There's a thing here you can read what this says, but I won't read it yet. You can go over here. There's a thing. There. Actually, I'm gonna do this because I want to demonstrate buying stuff, so I want to get a little more of the gold. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the inside of the tent. I'll do that um, after this. So we can go through here. So the plan is you get random encounters throughout here. I'm thinking on this part... So this is branching pathways. If you notice, we went, we went up, but we could have gone to the left. Um, so if we go this way, there's gonna be... My plan is there'd be like a little mini-boss here, and I'll explain... Well, no, maybe I won't explain how that ties in, but some of you guys know. So we go- so after that, we go over here, and then we're in the coastal area, which this is all I've done of that so far. That's uh, probably what I'm gonna spend a decent amount of time on today after I finish up what I was doing in the mountain town. And speaking of the mountain town, let's hop on back through the forest and show what happens if we go the other way. To be honest, Banana, so far, I think this game looks pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, well, it helps that there were some good assets to choose from already. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna walk through here. We have some Oddish and Vileplume plants in here, so that's cool. I'm just like, gonna pick up one thing from it. Um, question. Like, do you plan to, like, input some side quest in here and, like, certain cutoff points for each side quest, or what? I don't know, that's a good question. Depending on how this goes, I'll, um, depending on how this goes, uh, I'll see about, you know, expanding on things. I'll try to get the basic stuff in there first, and then maybe I can add stuff as we go along. Yeah. So this place, you can read this thing too, but I'll let you read that on your own. Or another time when I'm demonstrating everything. No, I want to go back. Back. There we go. Ice gems, we're going to implement them later somehow. What do you think if you drop down from the mountain to the coast, but not from the coast to the mountain? You wouldn't have to do that, anything is possible. But that might be not a bad idea. Either that, or it's like a shortcut that you open up. Like, you can't go from the coast. If you went to the coast first, you couldn't get to the mountains. But like, if you've gone to the mountains, you open up that uh, shortcut, and then it's always open. That's another option. Pumpkin is just like, wanting to climb up on my shelves that have all my games on it. I mean, if Pumpkin wasn't being the adorable, yet annoying furball that he is, he wouldn't be Pumpkin. Right. But I mean, he should be doing it on camera. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so now we like, made it to know, the mountain town. I love town. you, but if you're gonna be annoying, do it on camera! You've right. been over this! And now we've made it to the mountain town, which you guys kind of saw that just now. But let's see, I can show some of the stuff we can buy. So... 
some of these items were already in there, but I made the apple and the acorn. No, these items actually I all made based on the icons that were already in the game. Apple, big apple, acorn, big acorn, apple pie, acorn souffle. Oh yeah, pumpkin, my kitten. Have you seen pumpkin before, AJ? He walked across the screen a little while ago, but I don't know if you were on just yet. Yeah, like, you must live under a rock to not know that <laughs> Banana by now has a new kitten. I mean, it's been a while, but I, I thought you might have been on one of the streams. Alright, I'll have to- I'll have to go, um, grab him. Go disturb Pumpkin and bring him over here. Disturb him from... Disturbing you, yes. <laughs> you have to disturb him from disturbing well, you. he just knocked something down, so... I'll oh, right you have back. now been disturbed. Like, uh, real talk, not being around was your decision. But I can understand, though. Being, uh, playing League, it's kind of demanding sometimes when you have, like, a whole party, right. I guess. here he is. He's, he's now, I got him when he was, like, with, like, about two and a half months old? No. I guess he was three months old. Now he's almost, he's gonna be seven months old in like five days or a week or whatever but as you can see he's not like how he's like constantly trying to like get away from he's you he's like keen on go up. sitting still right now because he wants to explore and run around things but it's funny he's super affectionate he'll come up to you and lay on you and purr but he also likes getting into everything and knocking things down so he's a bit of a handful rambunctious would be a good word to describe it a tiny handful. Okay, and so we showed how upstairs you can heal and all that stuff. Alright, so real quick, let me show you guys the, uh, what's inside the tent. I'm not totally settled on the design for inside the tent. I think just because it's too big of an interior, but it's supposed to be Calicus tent just to give us a little more stuff. I mean, I'm gonna not really read this all, but... It's, it's Calica's diary, basically. I don't know, I was trying to figure out what else to populate this area with, but I couldn't think of much, so this is it for now. I didn't want to make it overly complicated, but that's it for the moment. Alright, now, let's move on to music. And let's uh, see about adding that that other house. What's, let's see about adding whatever's in here. I have to think about what I want to add, actually. I mean, it's a little farm house building, I guess, but also I just approved the song request, but, and it says playing Q, but nothing happened, so I apologize. I think there was some kind of error with that. So in the meantime, I'm going to play um, my own playlist until maybe Twitch decides to get its act together, or OBS, or whatever's causing this problem. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'll play that after this song. Alright, so let's see. I need to make 4-2 farmhouse, or whatever. 4-2... Farmhouse. All right, what, let's see, what's your interior? I could use all, but for for the ones where I just need a specific set, like, because it's inside or whatever, I am totally fine with just using a, a limited tile set. All right, so remember, it's town one at 80 and 80 for the music. One at... I'm gonna keep the Hyper Potions playlist playing this time around too, rather than just the Pokemon stuff, because that's always fun.
<laughs> Mom! Are right, you here? He's actually a lot chattier than Sarge is. <laughs> Makes that noise. Mom! Hmm. That one. That one. I guess it doesn't much matter. So I got a question. Hmm. What was the uh, point of the Neku that joined the party? Uh, you, you said that some of your friends knew what, what it was all about, but I didn't. So what's up? No, it's just. Well, it's not. It's, it's, they're not a party member, but they'll just appear at random places to give you. To give you. Um, advice and hints throughout. Hmm. Pretty cool. Mm hmm So it's basically like another hint character when, uh, when Calica isn't able to give you any hints. Yeah, I guess that would be about right. Let's see, how can I do <clears throat> this? I don't know if that seems in the way. Yeah, I also, um, I think it would be a good thing to start adding in more NPCs, um, somewhere down the line to, like, yeah. help you direct you in the right path, because so far it's like, nobody wouldn't know to come here, you know? Yeah. And yeah, that's definitely been part of the thought process. Do Sarge and Pumpkin fight for love? Well... They more so fight each other in a way where they love each other. Yeah, they like to wrestle. They like to play fight a bit. It's kind of funny. It's quite amusing, actually. Banana's basically playing God with her cats, but in a way where she's not really doing it. Like, only like the they strong just do survives. It. Right? <laughs> only the strong only the strong deserve my love. Let's see, I guess that works. Let's figure so out it's like a blacksmith it. house or what? Well, it's basically the farmhouse where this, the food and stuff gets made. I'm just trying to let's figure out the best way to set this up. Mm. Oh, by the way, Banana. What's up? Remember you were telling me about that one guy who had this Pomeranian on YouTube and he named it something outrageous? Oh yeah, he had this really adorable dog that looked like Gabe the dog and he named it something horrible and not suitable, not safe for work, and not suitable Dude, for work. Dude! I, I, <laughs> I, I found... I found... <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. It was I didn't think. I, I, I just thought you were just overreacting. But when I saw the name, I was like, oh my god, no, she's it was, right. It was pretty bad. It was like <laughs> the worst thing you could name an adorable dog. It's Mimi, one of the things hi. you would never expect someone to name their dog. Right. And it's you like, now, the, now I nerve. can't share the video with people because of the name in it. it like... <laughs> you have the nerve to fit in the word official. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> he had the nerve to put official in it. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Nope. No exaggeration here. It was as bad as you thought and worse. If anybody is curious to know what this dog's name is, just think about it. What would you not name a Pomeranian? <laughs> Think about the worst possible. <laughs> right? the, what is the worst possible thing you could name an adorable little puppy that children would probably like to? I mean, there's a lot of bad things, I suppose. But it, but when you see it, it's like, oh, that was the worst possible thing you could have possibly named that dog. And I feel sorry for the dog now. Like, think about a name that would 
make people think you're insane for picking it. Right. <laughs> it's like, why would you name it that? It's so cute too, like whenever he sees a human, he just waddles over <laughs> like it's no big deal. <laughs> I know. The poor thing doesn't even know what his name means. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like, hey, like, oh, human caught me. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god, no, 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 no. Poor doggy. Poor sweet doggo. You know what's crazy? What? He named the other dog normally. <laughs> I don't think I've seen the other dog. Dude, like he named the f he named one of them terrible, but they, then he named the other one like anyone else would name it. He he named it Marshmallow. Oh sure, that that's like the name that would make sense, right? But the other one is like, bro, what what happened? Why would you <laughs> do that? Happened? He named it Marshmallow, and the other one something terrible. Pumpkin is getting. Very insistent. It's like if you don't pay attention to me, I will meow so much louder. You know what? That's a, that's a good thing. Cats who like to meow, they uh, they're actually they're pretty great. I like them. They're definitely more entertaining. Oh yeah. And then you have a cat like Sar who rarely ever meows for for anything other than food. Yeah, or when you're annoying him. I feel like every cat owner knows the knows the way to annoy their cat it's because they do it on accident, or they just do it just because they know it's a little bit amusing. Well, it's like when your family, nobody knows how to annoy you as much as your own family because you just right. know each other so well and all right like let's say i get a cat right and mm -hmm. i know exactly how to annoy him by poking his butt he, like mm -hmm. a lot of cats don't like that already but by poking their butt if it, it starts to annoy them it's like hey Cut it out. If you're not going to pet me, then stop it. Right. And then it starts squatting at you. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think of it as a way for them to hurt you. I, I think of it more as a, cut it out before mm -hmm. I bite you. Mm -hmm. But you know the cats that I really enjoy? What's that? The cats that give you love bites. Sarge does that too. Like, he doesn't like really bite hard, but he'll just start like nom on you somewhere, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. He'll bite and then, and then lick right after that. Mm hmm. The love bites are so adorable. Like, oh my god. something. Let's put this, actually, put this there.
Okay, AJ, thanks for joining. <clears throat> Later, alligator. Oh, hi, 1063. Hello. There is an alligator. Well, not Where? anymore, because we just said see you later. Oh, oh hi, Mark. Who's oh, Mark? hi, 10. Hi, Timmy Tim Tim. Are you the Timmy that Shofu always refers to whenever he loses a Pokemon battle? I think it's Tim. Tim. Timmy. Tim Tim Tim. Uh. <clears throat> if you didn't know, whenever Shofu gets angry and loses a Pokemon battle, he always refers to. Freaking little Timmy over here can beat me with a few crits and burns, and I'm over here that actually knows how to play the game. You know, he gets angry <laughs> in a way that no one else gets angry. It's hilarious. Those those are not his exact words, but it's I'm saying it in a way where I don't involve any swear words. Okay. The stream friendly version. Yeah. The bottom wall looks kind of bare. Like, down here? Or down here? I'm not sure what part. Like, I'm trying to... Like, I'm, I want this part to be, like, the cooking area, and then this part to be more of, like, the living area. Um, I mean, but this part can have, like, a table and chairs. But I'm trying to figure out based on what stuff is available to me what would be the best. Think about this a little bit again. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that one. Is 
I mean, this is a trial and error process too. You gotta see what looks good and what doesn't. Knife, knife. What you thinking about? Stuff. Oh, I like stuff. Yeah. I like me some stuff. upset. 4K. Because the Dollar General down the street from my home does not sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No. But they sell Pokemon cards instead. I don't even collect Pokemon cards like that anymore. It got to the point where I had to, right? Wait, why is this glitching out? Like, I didn't really even play with Pokemon cards either, like I just collected them. And it got to the point where I had too many, so I had to sell them off. I played with a little bit. My local Toys R Us, rest in peace, had used to have a trading card game league every like Saturday, I think it was, that I used to do when that was a, a thing. Huh. I wasn't very good at it, but I did it. <laughs> like, I'm slowly getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, um, there are a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments than there are Pokemon card tournaments. I was gonna say, I think as a card game, Yu-Gi-Oh is bigger, at least at the moment. Yeah. That and a lot of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments uh, like, are actually playing for money. And it's like, whoa. Uh -huh. I know. And if you do go to them, you can actually meet a lot of really cool people there, like some people from Konami themselves, representatives, like top players. Nice. And if you, like you can even go to some really cool card vendors, and they can and they have like a whole bunch of really cool cards there for sale or for trade. That's cool. Yeah, right. So I'm I'll, I've been thinking about it. And maybe I will check one out if I ever get the chance to go. Yeah, why not? Yeah, right now I'm trying to build a deck before I do my Ichigo. Mm -hmm. 
Like, um, I want to play Cyber Dragons a lot. So I'm not really going to focus on going until I manage to make a, a main deck featuring Cyber Dragons. Mm -hmm. I already got most of the cards I need. I'm just missing like a couple more core cards. Like, I still need some of the extra deck monsters. I still need mm -hmm. a couple more setup monsters, like uh, another tuna or two. Mm -hmm. Specifically, Ash Blossom in particular. What else is there? Um, another machine monster, I forgot its name. I, I know what it is, but I just forgot it at this moment. You know how that be. Mm -hmm. um, couple more traps and a few more support, um, spell cards and I should be good to go. Oh, Carnifo said that last song was a colleague song. You want to help you get famous? That's cool. That's dope. <laughs> and thankfully... This Megaton gave me one of the cards I want to use. Hooray! I know. Ever heard of a card called Evenly Matched? It rings a bell. <laughs> well, basically what it does is that it forces you to banish all of your monsters on the field until you have the same number of monsters I have. That sounds familiar. I think... Is it in Duel Links? Because I think I remember reading that description. Um, or, or at the something... moment, I'm not very sure. If it's not that, it's something very, very similar. Yeah, it's probably something similar. Like, this, you can't really activate this card until after battle phase, which is perfectly fine, because, like, say you have one monster anyways, and then you, like, start, then you, like, attack your opponent, mm -hmm. and they have, like, a field of monsters, you attack the weakest one. No, 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 you, you attack one of them, doesn't really matter which one. If you come up victorious, you can activate that card and make them banish every single one of their monster cards until they have only one left. Nice. Or none left if your monster gets destroyed in the process. Hmm. This can get comboed up pretty well if you have a monster that resurrects itself, or you have a, or you like have a way to like bring it back from the graveyard the next turn. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really good. Cool. And lucky for me, this so happens to be one of the secret rares. That... So its initial value has gone up a lot more than what it should have been. Me too. I know. Making a whole home right now. Yeah. I'd live here. It's got just about everything. I would totally live here. Shoot. <clears throat> you can call anything a home as long as you can uh, sleep and eat, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep, pretty much. As long as you're able to sleep and eat and be at home. Let's make this the uh, the salesman's house with the goat. <laughs> Just walking around <laughs> randomly. Like, bah! He's already set up. I should put his house somewhere, though. Right, and he's like, wait, I know you. Actually, you know what? How about just for the memes? You put his house on like the farthest place possible in this game, and then you're like, "Wait, how, how'd you get all the way down there and I'm here?" And then he's like, "Magic." Right. He just like he just like is everywhere around the world. Right. And he's like, "Bro, how are you getting here before I am?" And then you then he's over there like, "My goat can fly." I 
actually, wait a minute. I realized earlier on in this game I gave, like, everybody a... a name when they spoke. But then I stopped. I should be consistent. Giving everybody a name? Like... Or at least, like, citizen, or old man. Hmm, I see, I see, I see. How about you only, like, name the uh, more important NPCs? Because yeah. naming each and every one of them separately would be, it would be a problem. Yeah, outside. actually, that would not be too bad. So all I'd have to do is take out the name of the old man, old woman, and girl in the beginning, and I think then I'd think I'd be consistent. Yeah. Like, you don't have to give everybody a name, just give the more important season name. Character and be connected with another like chef's brother. Well, this this is where the chef gets the food. They don't necessarily have to be related, but yeah. Connection makes the world feel alive. Hmm. Come alive, come alive. Then there'll be a child. Right. Let's see. What does the child be doing? The child will be standing in front of the potatoes, helping, slash eating them. More like being, being a. Huge disruption. Yep, that's my boy. His name is Pumpkin. Pumpkin. We call him Pumpkin around here. <laughs> Why? No reason. Cause he was when he was born he fell into a pumpkin. Is that literally why he named pumpkin? Yeah. Let's see, like, that's pretty that's that's pretty strange for you to be opening up a pumpkin around that type of year. I guess when he was little, he fell into a pumpkin. Alright, where- what could be a farm kid? There aren't that many kid choices, unfortunately, so... Pretty limited. Which one did I use? Did I already use the green-haired kid, or did I use the brown-haired kid? Because the brown-haired kid looks like a... Farmer's...
I used a green haired kid on the other one. Alright, so there we go. Oh wait, let me change his sprite so he's facing that away. Now, let's make this event. Okay, so and then when that's done, we will test it out just to take a look at it. Okay, let's take a look at it. to make this passable. Alright. Well, actually, no. This is the... This is how it is by default, actually, because this is the default set, not the custom set. So I guess I gotta keep it that way. I'll just go with that. I mean, I could change it if I wanted to, but... Okay, let's see. Anything else? There could be more around here, but I think this is probably pretty good for now. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to check. I wanted to see if it would look better. Yeah, it'll probably look better if I move her over here. But I'll take a look. So I think I'm ready to start working on the coastal area. I have to completely rearrange my thought process here. Because I've been using this tile set, the coastal tile set. I don't want to go in and change because that'll be too complicated. I'll have to redo everything. But I'll start with the other, uh, with the next screen. I'll start using um, the, the all tile set. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna go up this way. It's going to be rocky. I don't know, I have to think about this. Actually, let me. Oh, my iPad's all the way over there, but let me pull out my map to recall the overall shape of it. Hold that thought. So 
So first of all, let's go into... Wait, this is 4, 5. Okay. So actually, I want to make the water cover more of this. Yeah, because 5, 5 isn't going to have much traversable anyway, so... Let me expand this area. It's, it's not connecting properly. It's weird. Oh, there we go. That's why. So you're doing some more work on the beach? Yeah, I want to get it to be the shape I was thinking of. Yeah. Sounds good, sounds good. I realized this one part it might be too much, but uh, I guess that's all. But one thing I want to do is back this up a little bit. So let's go to 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. So let's see, this is... So 1-2, so down this way. On the mountainous side, I've seen trees right up to the shore and logs that get tossed by the tide, if that imagery helps. Yeah, you know, I'll have to put a couple, I might put a couple logs in there. I'm gonna start with the basic terrain and then add the details as I go.
that'll make it simpler, I think. Well, I can still walk on this part, actually. What am I thinking? Um, so yeah, I should continue this as water. test here so I can remember what's walkable and what isn't. And before being able to walk on water? Well, I know you can walk on the shallow parts at least. The shallow parts? So just on this part. mind we have one two three four five places so the top five here and the next one let me change the tile set first I can't which one is which this one has some water stuff, but I think the other one has the... Yeah, ignore the weird uh, tile change. Also, let me check the music. Positive 9, 100, and... So let's find some... Oh yeah, there's beach sand down here somewhere. There we go. Okay. Now... But you couldn't walk on the fifth... The top tile. No, that's the shallow water, so you can. One, two, three, four. I will double check later, I guess. I think I need to put in there what's traversable. I think I'm gonna end up walking on water on this one if I don't fix it. All right, passage. No and no and no. That should cover that.
Hmm. There's no way I can make this out to be one big thing. I don't know. Almost. Doesn't quite work. Oh, maybe. Mm. Oh, why isn't that part transparent? I don't know if I can do that part. Bound to be some difficulties from doing it this way. How about this? Nope, it's still. Oh no, I know why, because I'm putting it on the bottom, that's why. It's because I gotta put it up here if I. Oh, man. I undid too many times and you can't. There's not a redo. Yeah, at least there is none that I could find. Which is a little annoying, but oh well. Just kind of experimenting with what I can do with this. the rock ball to make it long. I believe so, actually. Let's see how... Let's see if it looks weird. Eh, it's not too bad, actually. So this is a for instance. I do like that. So there should be- oh, there's still one thing, we need a little maybe building of some kind- oh yeah, there's palm trees. Alright, so hold that thought actually, let me put this up here. So. the there's some kind of like port town or something where there's little houses yeah there's something <laughs> what do I make with these like walls or whatever there's gotta be maybe like this it didn't quite work Yeah, I don't know if that, those are supposed to go together as the building. Hmm. 
How do I make a building? I guess I could do use this. It goes with this, but I wonder if I can make it go with that instead. Maybe this isn't supposed to be a roof. Yeah. Kinda, kinda looks like one though. Like put a little door right here. I think the doors are all too big, but I could try it. That pumpkin sounds agitated again. No. The only problem is like there aren't that many door tiles, so like that one is pretty much the only one that works on these buildings. Yeah, that's a little too big though. I need a I need a low I need a smaller door probably. No, actually, no no, no no. I think I have to deal with this. What might make it look better, actually, is if I did that and then made the other thing bigger. Then I have to redo that thing again. Yeah, that might be better. Alright, now, give me a door. I could do it like this, but I think these are more, yeah, these are more, like, intended as windows, yeah, for, like, a church of some kind. So, let's go back up. is a little funny, so... Hmm. Be on the side of the building facing the water. Yeah, I guess I could put some kind of indicator. I'm not 100% sure about that though, about whether I want to do that. Oh, there's another color palm tree I can use. Hmm. I could add some variety if I use that. There. Actually, I might replace this. went, which is very suspicious. He won't have to go do pumpkin things. Yep. Well, are these pumpkin things? Don't worry about, Don't it. Worry about it. Yeah, right. It's just <laughs> Don't worry a pine nut. <laughs> well, are these pumpkin things? Don't worry about it. If he wanted to, if he wanted you to know it. That's all you need to know. Which is a very valid reason. Mm-hmm. I hear noise. What kind of noise? I've caught him, like, up on 
my dresser there, too, with all the breakable things. Oh, there he is behind stuff. So there are these little nail mounts that keep the phone cable mounted on the wall. He likes to play with those. He likes to play with pins. He likes to play with things that could be dangerous to him. Because you know what? That's the adventurer's way. I was gonna say, because he seems to have a death wish. I said, I guess this could be like a little shop of some kind. No, I don't know. Maybe this could be a house, and then later on, there's there could be like a fishmonger shop. Because this area, I actually have a few tiles I could play with here, so.
I'm making a lot of noise here. Oh, there you go. Say hi to people. Alright, he does this thing where he'll, if I lean him back, he'll stretch out. I don't know if he'll do it now because he just wants to get out, but yeah, he just wants to get out. Alright, go ahead. Um, okay. Alright, well let me move on to the next screen, I guess, and I can see what happens next. So what do I do? 5-4 would be the next one. one thing I can add back up here. Some of these things. Not that many though. I did four four. I think I did four four as if it was five four, but okay. So this should actually have more sand. We're starting to repeat some Hyper Potions music, so let's get to the Pokemon playlist, because I have a lot more of those. seems about right. So now this one would have a little more. Hmm. I'm going to put another copy of this roof on top because I want something to go behind me. So is it going to be like a night and day feature? I don't know. I wasn't thinking of it. Hmm. Because, like, if there's a night and day feature, you can make it, like, uh, certain enemies uh, appear at night and or day. Hmm. True. Just to make side quests a little bit more interesting. Yeah. 
That'd be something to think about for later. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Today has been a long one, I'll tell you that. Indeed. Also, hmm. I have uh, some news that was given to me while I was at GameStop mm -hmm. earlier. What is that? I'm not gonna say it here on stream, so I'm just gonna go ahead and beam it. Okay. Oh yeah. So we have one, two, three, Banana, I'm not ready. Not ready for what? Well, in like three or four more days from now, my schedule is gonna start picking up hard, and I'm like barely gonna have enough time just to sleep. Oh boy. I know, I hate that. Like, I don't mind it, but the fact that it's gonna be that way for like a whole month sucks. Mm. Sucks. Rip. I know. But it's all worth it, I guess.
Let's see. Starting to lose steam here. I'm getting tired. Uh. What? So I'm starting to lose steam. I'm getting tired. Dude, I had myself like three or four times just so I can go watch. <laughs> Stay away. I had to like mute myself like three or four times just so I can go wash my face. Mm -hmm. Cause like it was already a long day, mm -hmm. and now we're just sitting here just <laughs> staring at a screen, essentially. How much longer are you planning on going anyway? I'm not sure. I'll probably wind down pretty soon. Let's get the general idea. Well, let me get to the next part because I know what I want to do in the next the next uh, screen on 6-4. Oh, Oops. Yeah, the screen it can actually be pretty simple. Just put a person on here, over here. Ah, oh, dude, I, I watched some chiropractor earlier. Mhm. Mm and I kind of want to go now. Like just hearing all the loud cracking, just. It, it, it sounded like it, it would. It's like, I need it! Right? Like, just sitting here, like. I kind of want to know what it feels like. 
make a sample. It, it sounds, you can walk sounds like it hurts in <laughs> like it sounds like it hurts, but in a good way. You I know what I mean? Chiropractor once or twice. It's not like it doesn't really hurt. The anticipation is the worst part of it. Like anticipating is gonna pack something. <laughs> <clears throat> so make a sandbar, but uh, see the goal. I don't know if I want this to be an unlockable event, but I want the soldier to, or not soldier, sailor to be standing here, and like he can give you a ride over to the island. So I kind of want it ready to go. You're not really supposed to go on it, except in uh, transition form. Screen fades out. Screen fades back in. There you are. What is this? Necromantic! Thank you for the 18 month subscription. That is a lot of months. That is one year and a half, my friend. Alright, Necromantic, hi and bye. Thanks for popping in and thanks for the resubscription. Bye. I actually made this coastal area pretty big in terms of number of tiles. Number of um, squares of land. I'll have to go in to a more detailed design pretty soon. island two squares of map well it kind of drew it that way but I, it probably would rather fit it in one square because basically you're just going to go inside of a cave at least that's the plan from there just go in the cave and that would be a whole um like an underground area all its own Ooh, yawning getting tired all right I, I think i'll just like make the island and then that'll be it
No problem, Chronopod. I just wish I could go longer without getting so tired. Mood. It feels a little bit better when you say stretch. That just means it accentuates the stretching yeah, right. that is happening. It does. For this, I don't need to change the tile set, I believe, because that's just really simple. Yeah. Next time you stretch out, try it. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, you can help Chronopod. Not really. It's just a matter a matter of my time management and how easily I can get to sleep. Yeah. It also depends on the kind of day you have, too, like, leading up to this. Indeed. Like, like, if you've been around, like, if you've been going around all day, like, doing stuff, you're not in the mood to stream. You just want to like, go to sleep. But then you're like, you know what? I, I told people I was going to stream tonight, so I'm going to stream tonight. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep.
silly. <clears throat> no one around here like a buck crow or darkness. Well, there's gotta be some way of knowing that this could be like an area affected by the curse. I don't know. Actually, maybe I should have changed the tile set to all. That's alright though. I'll, I'll put something. I'll figure it out, but maybe I'll figure it out next time. Yeah. Like, oof. <sighs> I wonder if there would be a way to represent- maybe I'd have to do it in the cave where I have more room, but that one place where I had that- that symbol, I don't think it's big enough over here to represent it. Hmm. Yeah, I could put it somewhere inside of the cave, maybe. Master, hello. What's good, my dude? Would you just hear like a little, like a, 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 a I think it's been a while. How long, like maybe two, three streams? Yeah, maybe. It wasn't that long. I get some time off this weekend? Yeah, it's just a normal weekend. I got time off last weekend, actually. I mean, was I was great. out and about- I was out and about doing stuff, but I had kind of a break from physical activity for a bit, so it was neat.
<sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Dice Master, that does not sound like a good week. That's crazy. It seems like you always got something. I know, right? Going on. That that happened all in one week. That's crazy. Like that's actually crazy. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess. Like, I how does that all happen in one week? I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess you didn't say a week the last month. Oh, the last month, like. Even so, that's kind of rough. Like, how does that all happen with the same? Say that's one heck of a week, right? <laughs> but no, that's not a joke. That's actually insane, lady. It's hard to hear that. I was gonna make a reference back to the village. We never really named the village, but Man Dice Master, like I said, you always got something. Yeah, right. You always come in here and there's something to always
You're about to go to. Oh my god. I need to name this village and finish this thing. Um. What kind of village is it? It's the starting village. The starting village? Thinking. Pumpkin. 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 Kitty cat attack. I don't think he heard me. No, because I have headphones on. Bad face. Alright, I've just got to name this thing. Okay, bye, Dice Master. I have fun at your, uh, at your party. Yeah, have fun with friends. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. They always come in a pair. When it comes to my dad, they come in groups of five or six usually. How is he alive? <laughs> that's no. That's that's how he sneezes when he's well. When he only sneezes once or twice, then he's got cold. Oof. To be honest, I hate the damn. It's an unpleasant experience. Yeah. Sound like sailing? I don't know. I'm gonna find out if there is one. Oh, there's a dive sound.
Yeah, I'll try that. All right. And then move over there. So let's copy here. So let me make sure I get this. All right, well, I don't have all these map pieces connected, but let's just put my starting position over here and just make sure that works. And then I think that'll do it for the evening. was happening the screen color change worked um in the inn to heal but it didn't work it hasn't worked anywhere else to the point where i've had to change it to a uh, screen flash which doesn't work as nice Uber better. <laughs> the only thing is, I don't think I need to wait the extra frames. Let's... I know, unless that would be better to have more time, it looks like time passing. We'll see what this looks like. ended up behind because of the overlapping rules. Alright. Well. I could go in and change them, I guess. Is it beach priority one one one? All right, I'm gonna give. All 
I'm gonna give you more priority and see if that works. Because he said, look in. Right. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for joining. Um, I probably won't be streaming this weekend. So on Monday we'll be back with a little more Final Fantasy. I might do a little bit of work on this off screen if I have some time and I get uh, some inspiration. But in the meantime that's gonna do it. And yeah, Final Fantasy Monday and then we'll go back to this Thursday or Friday and that'll about do it. And then the week after that I have to change my schedule around because I'll be away that weekend. I'll probably still get a Monday stream in but that's it. All right, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much once again, and have a good night, everybody. Good night.